Good morning. Today is the day we leave Belize. We are heading towards Guatemala. Hopefully tonight we'll be sleeping in a place called Flores, Guatemala. First thing is we need to hop on a boat and get off Key Cocker. Then from Belize city, we're hoping to get some sort of bus or taxi towards the border. Don't really know what we're gonna do. Just arrived in Belize City and there's a shop advertising transfers to Flores, so we're gonna inquire here. It's a shame that we won't be able to stay in Belize City or see the place, but Guatemala is calling. It will be 600 pesos. Oh my God, that's perfect. Yeah. Would it be possible to pay you 570 pesos and the rest in Belize? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and what time do you leave at her? Oh yeah. We leave at 12.30. 12.30, so we get, we get food. So that and would mean, what time would it get to Flores? 4.30. 4.30. That would include border crossing, obviously, yeah. Yeah, yeah and immigration and all that. Jeez, that that's that's really good, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, that just worked out perfectly. We managed to get rid of the pesos that we had and get a bus straight to Flores. Hopefully a decent bus. After about an hour delay, apparently, the bus is out here somewhere. Just really hoping now we're not like shoved into a tiny little minibus. And this is it. Bags going into the trailer. We have just arrived at the Belize Guatemalan border. The bus took about two and a half hours. And I think the first job we need to do now is leave Belize. It's gonna cost about 40 Belizean dollars just to exit the country. And then hopefully immigration on the other side isn't gonna take that long. We have successfully made it out of Belize. We are now in no man's land between countries. That 40 Belizean dollars that we had to pay for is a racket. I don't believe it. There's a couple of reasons which I'll show here, but I don't believe it. Well, we're officially in Guatemala and that crossing was so much easier than getting into Belize. But it took a long time after this. Yeah, it was slow, but a lot easier. This is our bus now to Flores. This is my bed, Sarah's, and this is our room. What is it? That, that's probably your bed then. Well, we arrived anyway. The bus took a little longer than we thought. It was more like three hours rather than two. At one point, the perfect tarmac just gave way to about five kilometers of real bumpy road. I don't know what, why that was the case, but we're here. That's the main thing. The hostel's not amazing. But that's okay, we're only here for one night. Tomorrow we're on the move again, so I'll see you in the next one.